Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is my coffee bar tour. Let's get started. Okay everyone, as we all know, I've been hunting for a coffee bar. I am tired of it being on the counter. It takes up way too much space and now it is here. So let's get started with the tour. So at the very top, I have my wreath and that is also a garland that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was 40% off, beautiful. And I'm gonna keep this up all until November, I believe. There's my end sign. A lot of these things I shopped in my home for. There's my family sign. I've had that in the house forever. My central air just came on, so I'm sorry for the sound. So, as you know, I have an espresso, and I keep all my Nespresso's in this little basket now. I don't know if many of you know, but this is a Longenberger basket, and I've had this for probably 17 years, and I have a bunch of these. But this is where I find I can reach and get to my um, Nespresso pots very easily. This is a little cake stand. I got this little honey pot from Home Goods. That thankful sign just makes me feel very thankful. <laughs> Sorry for the pun. This is also from Hobby Lobby for 40% off. There's my Nespresso coffee, coffee frother. And I got that with my Nespresso that I use almost every day now. I love it very much. It's one of my prized precious items. And here we have my stand. Now I will be switching this out so you can see different looks. Yeah. And there is my Cuisinart that is a coffee and hot water also dispenser. So back to the middle. I've never tried this skinny syrup. This one is the salted caramel. I've never had that flavor. I've had the chocolate, but not the salted caramel. So I'm really excited to try that. I have my small collection of my Ray Dunn. I keep odds and ends spoons in here because I don't need them all the time. There's my rabbit that likes to climb up your cup. And on the bottom, just a couple more of my Ray Dunn and an antique sugar or creamer dish. And then if you just do a whole view of my coffee bar. Now that Ray Dunn But First Coffee sign is from a good YouTuber. She sent that to me. I am so happy for that. I have never seen that. I really enjoy that. That is adorable. And just another little sign that I got from Hobby Lobby. So let's show, let me show you what I have in my drawers. So in my drawer, I have the essentials that I use on a daily basis. And these are the things that, it's not an overflow. This is the things that I just use like right now, every day. So I have my Trevia sugars, my Twinings tea. My grandchildren really love those chocolates. I have not touched one of those. I thought I would, but I don't need everything that I see. I have my apple ciders. I love those my iced coffee pot packets, and then I also have my teas. One of my favorite at the time that Caribou used to have was the Amy's Blend. And then this is from William Sonoma. This is the Moline Spice Tea. And I love my Twinings. And also another, I believe this is an apple cider. And then I just keep all that my all my coffees that I'm using at the moment. My coffee uh, measuring scoop, my little tea holder, you know, when you're done with your tea, it goes right in there, that little sack. And I have to use special coffee filters for my Cuisinart. And that's that top drawer. And everything fits really nice in there. Love that. Okay, on to the next drawer. Now this drawer is an overflow of things. I've got my Trevia that I keep in here, hot chocolate, some cinnamon sticks, and of course, I like to have cloth napkins ready on hand. These are my marshmallows. 
these are only used for the hot chocolate and when my grandkids come over. They love that. They always want hot chocolate every time they come to grandma's. In the bottom, I have more overflow. overflow. <laughs> Excuse me. I have some cookies that my grandkids love. Those are my favorite little biscuit cookies. They're like a shortbread. Those are also from William Sonoma. And in this container, lid off for you. It's just another overflow of teas, cocos, all kinds of stuff. Okay, now we're gonna go into the cupboard here. Now, I'm gonna probably paint this coffee bar. Let me just say I'm still thinking about it. I'm not quite sure. But underneath, I have some more cups and my Ray Dunn plate. And those cups are from Sweetwater Decor. They're some of my favorites. I have some Starbucks back in there. And you know, all my cups do not fit in here. I have such a collection. Now, underneath is just extra storage. And I just use a basket that I've had in the house. And I just keep extra coffee filters for Tafik's coffee pot. And then some of my favorite Starbucks cups that I use on a regular basis. And these are here for me to grab at, you know, at a quick grab compared to where my other ones are because I have so many. Okay. Now, I'm going to change out that middle piece. This round tray I already had in the house, I just shop my home for things like this. And this cute little silver cake stand is something I already had also. that I've switched out for the tier. It just gives it a totally different look. And I like this one too. They're both very festive in my opinion. And you can do many things with your coffee bar. You could add a runner, you can put a white tray down, you can put a three tier thing up to put all your stuff on. Many different opportunities. I can't wait for fall. Well, I actually can but I have some beautiful fall things that I'd love to decorate my coffee bar with. And as long as it works for you, it is something special. This one really works for me and I love that I have everything in, you know, right in my range of what I want. I hope you enjoyed my coffee bar tour. I really enjoy putting this together. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll the see you again. Bye -bye. We're alive, living life underwater. Let's spend all we've got getting buzzed. You pretend you're a god, I believe I'm a soldier. We play hide and seek till you draw. Loving can nothing.